Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's Jimmy C. Capri, the nurse practitioner extraordinaire. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am going to be taking out my crochet braids. I've already taken them out, but I forgot to do an introduction. So here I am looking crazy for y'all. Anyway, when I first started getting my crochet braids, I did not know anything about them. I didn't know how to take care of them, refresh them, make them look good take them out without cutting my hair because I cut my hair several, on several occasions. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take down your crochet braids fast within 15 to 20 minutes and uh, without cutting your hair. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so I am taking out my crochet braids. I decided to come on here and show you guys how I do this. I just start cutting the hair, and you gotta be careful not to cut your hair, of course. So you just get down and cut the hair, and then you go further as you get as much of it off as you can. And then I'll go even closer in sections and not too fast, but in sections, so that you don't, there's a braid here, don't cut so close to where you cut that braid. I've done that like twice. No good, no good. So I just go close like that, little by little, kind of like cutting a small little afro. All right. You see how close I'm getting? What I don't want you to do, because your hair is growing, I don't want you to pull it too tight when you go to cut because you don't want to cut the braid underneath. You want to be really careful that you're not cutting your hair. If you installed your um, crochet braids, then have a feel of where your actual tail is or where the, you know, where they sold everything, or not sold everything, tied everything together, or where you tied everything together, so that you're very conscious of what you're cutting. So once I get this close, I try to trim it as close as I can without getting any of my hair. So once I get this close, I just start pulling. You see how that happened? It just comes out so that I don't have to go very close to my head, so I just pull, you see? And that makes it easy. When I first started getting these, I was trying to figure out how I was going to take my hair out, and I didn't know how to do this, and I cut a significant amount of my hair, my own hair, so I don't want you to do that. If you get to the front where you're not sure, just go right here where one of these knots are, and just cut at the knot closest to your finger, like that. And then you can pull that right out, you see? You see? Okay. You cannot see what's behind you, so you have to feel and make sure you're cutting as close to your finger as possible and not to your head so that you don't cut your own hair. That's the main key. A protective style is to keep the hair on your head, not to be cutting your hair, which, like I said, I've done, which is awful. Anyway, okay, we're getting these down. Whoop, that was close. Kind of felt something there. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Okay guys, this is my hair after taking all of my braids out. And in this video, I'm going to show you, I don't, I, I looked around and I don't see that I cut any of my hair or anything like that or lost any of it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take down your crochet braids efficiently and effectively without cutting your hair. Okay, 
Stay tuned. Ooh. <laughs> Lord. Oh, also my hair type, which is stretched out right now, but it's for 4C for hair. 4C hair on the spectrum of hair types. So sometimes I have 4C, 4B, whatever. Um, but it's it's the four type hair. It just it's really really coily. But right now it's just stretch from being in braids. Okay, all right. Stay tuned.